This video was produced by the Slater Center to provide you with a brief introduction to medical cannabis. Hi, my name is Robert Salvatore. I'm the patient outreach coordinator for the Thomas C. Slater Compassion Center in Providence, Rhode Island, and today I'd like to discuss medical cannabis with you. In the state of Rhode Island, medical cannabis is approved for use with certain conditions, so please check with your healthcare provider or doctor to see if you qualify for one of those conditions. Now, right now in medical cannabis, we try to focus on four different categories. We focus on our flower, we focus on our edibles, we focus on our concentrates, and we also focus on our topicals. Where I'd like to start today is with our flower. Now, flour is something that you're actually going to break up, you're going to roll it, you're gonna put it in a pipe, and you're gonna smoke it. Flour usually takes, um, for full reaction, about 15 minutes from the first time that you take a pull from a pipe or from a pre-roll joint. Um, once it does react to your body, flour can last, for that first pull will last about 15 minutes, so we do consider this the most mild way to medicate. Um, flour breaks down into four different categories. So we have sativas, we have indicas, we have hybrids, and we have our CBD flowers. I'm gonna start with sativas. Sativas have always been known to be very uplifting and energetic. They can be good for conditions like fatigue or depression, and usually give off scents of citrus or pine, so those very awaking aromas. We have indicas. Indicas tend to be more relaxing. Indicas are good for something like uh, pain, sleep deprivation. Uh, it can also be good for something like anxiety. Usually our indicas are, give off scents of um, floral patterns or deep fruits like black cherry or blackberry. With the hybrids, hybrids can be great for people with multiple conditions because they're not only gonna give you some of that sativa, they're also gonna give you some of that indica and they can range in, in aroma. So check with your patient advisor when you're suggesting if you wanna look for flower. CBD is great because CBD is non-psychoactive, meaning there's no high or psychotropical effect associated with it. CBD is usually extracted from the sativa plant, so it gives an uplifting feeling. Um, some people have also felt very relaxed on it. So again, check with your patient advisor to see if the CBD flower would be right for you. Next category we're going to talk about are edibles. Now one thing to keep in mind with edibles is edibles can take up to three hours from the time that you take it to the time that you get a full reaction. But with most patients, they feel a reaction within an hour to an hour and a half. Once they react to your body, edibles can last anywhere between five to six hours. So they might be a good choice for people that are only looking to medicate a few times a day. When we discuss edibles, we have a rule here where we like to start off with really low milligram dosage and then slowly increase it. So when you're talking to your patient advisor, you might want to start off with something like five milligrams, which we consider to be a little bit more mild, and then increase it slowly if you don't get the desired results. But always keep in mind that they can take up to three hours to take effect. So anytime that you're dosing out, you want to keep that in mind so that you don't double dose if you feel that it hasn't reacted to your body in the time that you feel is sufficient. Next, we're gonna talk about our concentrates. Now, concentrates tend to have a very quick reaction time. Usually from the time that you use it, you'll feel full reaction within five minutes. Concentrates a lot of times are the flour that's been broken down into a smaller, more potent um, medication. We have vaporizers, we have rosins, we have other medications that would qualify as concentrates. Keep in mind that these are very potent, so you might want to start off with something a little bit more milder, but check with your patient advisor and see if this is the right choice for you as well. And then lastly, we talk about topicals. Now, with topicals, topicals are only going to penetrate into the first few layers of the skin, so they won't give you any type of high reaction. They're not going to penetrate into the bloodstream. Topicals usually take about 15 minutes before you get a full reaction, and they last about a few hours. Um, I use topicals myself. I'm a long distance runner and a lot of times I'll rub them on my legs after a run to help with some of the cramping that I get um, and some of the swelling that I get from doing those 10 to 15 mile runs. But with any of this medication that I showed you today and explained to you today, 
If for some reason you still don't feel that you're grasping it, you have patient advisors here that can help guide you through that and help pick those medications that might be right for you. If you'd like to become a medical marijuana patient, there's a few steps that you need to keep in mind. First, you can visit the Department of Health website or our website at www.slatercenter.com to get the documents that you need. You're going to need to submit those documents to your doctor or your healthcare provider. And then once your doctor or healthcare provider give those documents back to you, you're going to submit them to the Department of Health. The Department of Health is then going to review those documents. And if approved, they'll send you a letter in the mail letting you know you're approved. And then basically from there, they'll give you instructions to come in. You're going to have a picture taken and then they're going to issue you your card about a week after that pitch has been taken. Once you get that card, you are then ready to register at one of the dispensaries. Once you receive your medical marijuana card, you're going to have to register at one of the dispensaries in order to purchase your medication. If you decide to register at the Slater Center, you're going to walk into our front desk area and meet with one of our patient orientation members who will fill out your paperwork and then answer any questions that you have. This is what our front desk area looks like. Once you've completed your registration, you're then allowed to walk in the dispensary and purchase your medication. A patient advisor will be waiting behind the counter to answer any questions you have either about the medication, use on the medication, or any other questions you have regarding medical cannabis. When you enter the dispensary, this is what you'll say. Inside our display cases, we offer a variety of medical cannabis products such as flour, pre-rolls, edibles like gummies and cookies, capsules, Rick Simpson oil, live rosin, topicals, tinctures, and more. Again, my name is Robert Salvatore. I'm the patient outreach coordinator for the Thomas C. Slater Compassion Center. And if you have any questions regarding this recording, you can reach me here at Slater Center at area code 401-274-1000 or my email will be listed at the end of this recording. Thank you for your time and we hope you find this video helpful.